Welcome back boys and girls, it's Monkey Mid here again. Uh, I've had some lunch, I've had a bit of a freshen up, uh, I've had a change of clothing. Uh, welcome back to a Japanese Kiss Final Part 3. Again, I'm joined by my bank manager. Um, let's crack on, shall we? Right, oh, before I crack on again, I picked this absolute corker of an album, uh, Sex Pistols Never Mind the Bollocks. Well, you think it's Never Mind the Bollocks. It's actually called The Same Old Bollocks, okay? I know it's got nothing to do with Kiss, but I do love the Sex Pistols. Uh, anyway, this one's from Santiago, 96, a radio broadcast. If you can get it, pay about £15 for it, $20, whatever, and uh, get yourself a copy. You're going to love it. Let's move on. Right, guys, next album we have is Kiss Alive 2, okay? Now, this one, again, has got this bit of writing here. Uh, please, can someone tell me what it is? Um, I'm sure I can find it somewhere, but uh, just drop me an email if you want and tell me what it is. It's, it's nicer to communicate with people than uh, trying to find it somewhere else. Or something. So, anyway, so this comes with the big fat OBI. Very nice, live too. Let me show you inside. There we go. Oh, it's got an advert for a lovely, I think it's a JVC system, hi fi system in there. Well, that's when stereos were stereos. You can keep your iPods and your MP3 players. This is what I want the size of a house, hi fi system. Okay, that's inside. That is over back. Okay, there we go. Let's see what comes of this one. Okay, we have the Japanese booklet again. There we go. That's the inside. Lots of lovely lyrics and whatever. And that's that. Okay. Leave that there. Uh, this one also comes with the inner sleeves, okay, like the American ones. But the difference being is the Japanese ones are like a matte finish, okay, not a gloss finish like the American ones. These are the matte finish ones. Okay, that's the front. That's the back of it. And again, this would have a VIP. In this case, it's VIP 6435. So they've got the VIP um, catalogue number there. Okay. And let me have a look. And I believe this would be the uh, Casablanca film. Yeah, there you go. Just that label. Okay. Okay. There we go. And it also comes with this one, I believe. It will come with the booklet. Okay, there we go. Here's the booklet. Again, this one is a Japanese booklet. You can just feel it. Uh, it just feels heavier duty, slightly nicer feel to it than the American one. And of course, it's got the VIP catalog number there. So when you buy the Japanese Live 2, make sure it's got that. Okay, I'll have to tell you again. It's been a bit boring now. Uh, well, I won't show you the inside because you've probably seen the inside. It's just the same, okay? The Evolution of Kiss Book, okay? And it also comes with, I believe, the tattoos. If I've got it in here, I hope I have. I have not seen this for a long time. I don't get these out normally. Aha, here it is, okay. And there is the, uh, yeah, my tattoo came with one a uh, bit missing, unfortunately. So, uh, but there you go. That's why it was only uh, $25, okay? You had that cut out. But again, when you get the tattoos, it will have underneath here, on the bottom left-hand corner, VIP catalog number, okay? So there you go. Uh, I can't remember what was there. I think it's a lightning bolt, I think, on there. But hey-ho. So if anyone's got a spare one of these, a Japanese one they don't want, um, I'll give you some money for it. Watch that. There it is. Hello. Okay. Next up we have Kiss Alive 2 again. Of course, this is the uh, second printing with the Dynasty picture, the yellow OBI. It's done by Polystar. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you the comparisons. Uh, I think I prefer this one actually a bit more than uh, that one. Uh, now, a lot of the uh, second issues, correct me if I'm wrong, Kiss My Wax. They didn't come with the booklets uh, or any sort of like the extras. All you get is the Japanese in a sort of sheet with all the lyrics and everything. Uh, but it didn't come with any of the extras, I believe, okay? All right, let's have a look then. Uh, let's 
that's on the desert label with a live two written there in the middle there. So a live two. Okay. That seems flimsy as well. Okay. Compared to the Japanese vinyls. I'm sure Tom would tell me where it's been uh, printed, which plant. All right. And that's why it's flimsy. Okay, so all you get is the uh, sort of like a uh, what, just a, a sheet there. That's the, the front part of it in Japanese. And of course, we've got a picture here of Dynasty period, not quite the right period. Okay, quite the Alive 2 album. There you go. And on the back there's lyrics. Uh, but sometimes, for some <laughs> reason, these are second issues are actually worth more than the first ones. I've seen these go for quite a lot of money. Okay, so there you go. Front there, back there, anything in the middle there? Oh yeah, there's a, there's a, a catalogue of all the other Kiss albums there from Polystar. Okay, there you go. Right, boys and girls, next up we have the Mighty Double Platinum. Okay, there we go. Um, again, it's got this bit here, which is advertising something, I don't quite know what. Well, I have seen these without that bit there, so you've only got that bit, the OBI, okay? Uh, and this one, incidentally, I haven't got it, but this one does come with a poster, originally. Uh, I have seen them as cheap as $80, $90 for that, uh, but I don't want to pay that for a poster, really. I'm kind of, I like collecting Kiss, but I also like other things in life as well, okay? Um, but each to their own, all right? This is good enough for me, as long as it's got the OBI. There's the inside. Okay, and I've got a feeling that these sleeves, they're all made in America, okay? It's got printed in USA on the spine here, okay? I'm just thinking that these sleeves were just printed in America and they're distributed to places like Japan or wherever. Because I've actually bought one of these uh, uh, in Hong Kong. That was a Hong Kong import. But the actual sleeve is still stating printed in America. But for some reason, the Japanese one just feels a little bit nicer. And I'm just wondering if they are made in Japan. I have no idea. Um, if anyone's got the, a point of view on that, drop me a line. But these just feel a bit nicer to, than the other ones that I've got. I've got one from England uh, on a pie label. Uh, I've got the American one, obviously. I've got one from Hong Kong. They all feel kind of like the same. But the Japanese one just feels a little bit different, okay? That's me being a bit anal there, okay? watching too much kiss my wax but anyway so that's that's double platinum uh let's see what we've got inside here uh, there we go we've got the silver colored label there you go double platinum Woo. okay yeah, that's that and i believe this one has got the disc the silver presentation disc as well Silver presentation disc, okay. And now this one, it's funny, this is not, unless I've got a dud copy, but this actually says printed in USA on the back, okay. Doesn't say Japan. I'm hoping that I have got the right one. I say the covers, I think, are made all made in America, and I might have dished these out to Japan as well. But it says printed in USA on the top, okay. Maybe someone knows something that I don't, okay. There you go. Let me show you the uh, sheet here we have, just the standard, kind of like Japanese sheet here. Um, just open that up. And there we have it. Okay, so that is double platinum we have. Put that away. Don't think there's anything else in there. And that's that. Okay, double platinum. All right. Now, do you remember I said to you there was the first, second, and third printing? I have a third printing coming up now. It's a different OBI again. And it is double platinum again, okay? Now, as you can see, the OBI is not on this side. I've put it onto this side now. And it's not an OBI, sh uh, it's not an, I keep saying OBI, OB, 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 OB-1 Kenobi, OB, OB. It's an OB strip, okay? This is not a strip as such, because it's kind of like uh, you fold it out here and then you sort of pull it out and it's like a whole sheet of 12 inch in there, okay? But anyway, let me just tell you about double platinum. This one is um, 
definitely not printed in in America. In America, this is not even the same as the standard double plan. It's not. It's just. A, it's not a silver foil cover. This is like a matte cover. Okay. So this is the third printing. It's from. They call it the Crazy uh, Collection Edition. Okay. Let me show you the OBI. So the OBI kind of like folds like that and opens like that and it opens like that and just sort of like a sheet there and then you've got the catalogue on the back there you go and that's the crazy issue I'll show you without the uh, strip uh, funny enough the crazy issues I'll tell you what these these for some reason are worth even more than you well not worth more I've just seen them go for more money than the standard issues or, or the second issue even I don't know why, uh, maybe they only did a limited run on these uh, uh, crazy collection albums, I have no idea. But this one doesn't come with a silver foil at all, I'm sure it doesn't, no, it doesn't, the silver disc thing. And it's just on the boring old um, desert label, okay, desert film crew label. Uh, but they do go for a lot of money, I've seen one of these go for about 100 bucks. You think, shit, I'd rather buy the original one, with the poster. Um, I think these came out around the late 80s, mid to late 80s. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay. So there you go. Let's see, uh, let's double platinum. Next up, it's you, sir. Gene Simmons, a solo album, obviously. Um, the first issue strip. There you go, first issue album. Okay, that's very nice. And on the back. Of that. Let's see what we got here. Ah, we have the poster. There you go, you've seen this before. Again, I think these are marked VIP. If I can find where the VIP is, the VIP serial number is on the bottom here. So make sure when you buy this that you do get the VIP uh, catalogue number down there on the poster. Otherwise, it's just a standard American one, which you don't want with your Japanese album. Uh, it does come with all that as well. Okay, very nice. Open that up. There we go. And that's the back of it. Okay. And uh, the inner sleeve is also something you need to watch out for. You get it? That's the inner sleeve there. Uh, Again, this feels nicer, it's glossier, it seems to be heavier duty. And again, it's got the, the VIP number up here. Okay, the VIP, whatever number. 6578, okay, 6578, VIP number, which you need. If it hasn't got that, then it's not the Japanese one. Okay, so very nice. Very nice. And the label over here is the standard desert one. With the picture of Gene Simmons on there. Okay, that's that. And there we have it. I'll put that there, and that is the Gene Simmons album. Okay, there we go. Right, guys, I need a drink before I carry on, so I'm going to speak to you uh, very soon again. Say goodbye, Gene. Give me all your money. Uh, see you later, guys. Uh, I shall be back for part four. Yeah.